Hi and welcome to my attempt at some cookery. <laughs> um, I don't know why I'm doing this, but I just felt the need to do something different. Um, now, I'm actually going to cook uh, a lovely dessert, what is at most people's favourite around this time of year. Autumn time coming into winter. And that's a nice crumble. Apple and blackberry crumble. Okay. Now what you see, how I'm going to be doing it, I'm not doing it to make out I can make a better crumble than anybody else. I'm literally here to try and use it for myself. Um, I've never been a cook. I don't, um, I don't profess to be a, a good cook. Never tried it. So I'm basically going to try it from scratch. I'm preheating the oven already, so I must be gonna uh, think I'm gonna be getting somewhere with it. And I just wanna attempt something which I've never done before. Um, so first of all, anyway, let's crack on with it. And um, it's gonna be pretty rough around the edges. So, you know, let's just see what happens. And if I make any mistakes, I'll make them, you'll see everything what I'm doing. Um, first of all, it's been and wash my hands. Always good to have a nice sterile environment. Um, I'm gonna do the crumble preparation first uh, and see how that goes. I've got that habit keeps him, um, so I must get out of that habit. First of all then, we've got 200 grams of plain flour Okay, that's that one. Uh, the other camera should pick that up. We've got 125 grams of brown sugar. We've got 50 grams of rolled oats to put in, in the mix, okay? Now, I'm just gonna get the butter I need in a second out of the fridge. It's always good to have a cold butter, not to warm it up with your hands, first of all, because you're gonna mix it by hand. And you want a nice crumble, so not uh, something which is going to melt and go into a paste. So leave the butter in the fridge until it's uh, really needed. So, okay, first of all, we're going to pour in. <laughs> I really hope that I'll get this the right way around. Anyway, first of all, we're going to pour in the flour. Okay, then we're going to pour in the brown sugar. rolled oats okay and then in a second I'm gonna go get the butter and uh, I'm gonna get some cinnamon as well so uh, I must get that okay I'm back with you I've now got the butter out of the fridge and I've got some cinnamon <laughs> okay we're going to be, we're going to put the butter in. And the cinnamon. Oh. Do you know, I'm not going to measure it out. I'm just going to pour it in. Okay. Let's let that sit. That's my measurement. <laughs> okay. I'm now going to mix it all together to get the right consistency and uh, see where we go with that. So, knead in all the ingredients and squidge the butter through your hands. One thing I forgot to do, I knew I had to do it, run your hands under some cold water to start so that you've uh, got colder hands, so that's always good. Okay, so hopefully the other camera can pick that up. As I say, I want to try this because um, since I had my stroke the end of last year, um, somebody mentioned me about doing some cooking and 
it's good, it's quite therapeutic some of it and also it's good to make your mind work and plan out something like a meal and some cooking um, but as you can see I'm no expert and you can see it now forming a more of a bread crummy type quite looking forward to seeing how it comes out actually we went away uh, we went out a meal the weekend went down Froome way at Radstock um, which was really nice had a meal and we actually had this crumble for our dessert um, I'll probably show you how to do the custard later not that I need to show anybody but um, it's always nice to have a nice custard or have, have a nice scoop of ice cream on top of it so if you do this for around I would say four to five minutes just working it through the hands and you can see the bread crummy type consistency of it we're nearly there with that quite pleased with that for our first attempt I've had no practice at this whatsoever I know a lot of people who's gonna watch this is gonna laugh but <laughs> cooking the camera as I say I've got the oven on I'm preheating the oven to about 180 there In a, the next part of this, I'm going to prepare the apples. Um, so I'll go and get them ready in a second. But I think that's about it there for the for the crumble. Okay, next part of this, I'm going to prepare the apples. Um, you can do it whichever way round you want, but. Uh, I'll just get on with it. I'll try and manage as best I can with this hand. It's something which uh, I was left with after my stroke. So actually holding the apple and, and peeling it is probably going to be a bit difficult for me. But for the next part, when we start reducing down uh, the fruit and putting them in the pan, we've got uh, 50 grams of sugar. Um, we've got 50 grams of butter. We've got some cinnamon. And, uh, and some zest of lemon. All right, so um, let's just see how I get on with this, if it's too much hassle, I'll, I'll get my wife to do it. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> that's funny, I don't even know how to use the peeler. What I'm gonna do with these is, uh, peel them off and then uh, put them into quarters and then cube them down about two centimeters um, everybody's got their own ways of doing this so you know you don't have to follow this at all this is not an educational or tutorial video for cooking it's just it's to help me really it's building my confidence on the video and it's building my confidence in the kitchen but I'm not going to let the wife know, I'm not going to get used to it. <laughs> As you can see, I'm making a bit of a hash of this. Uh, I'd like to just mention, apples kindly donated from Barrow, Barrow Hill Castle in, in Bath. Uh, thanks to Peter and Judy, thank you very much for the apples. Hopefully you might, you might want to taste some of it once I've cooked it, but um, I do understand if you don't. Nothing better than coming home, winter's day, 
log fire going and a nice crumble in the oven. <laughs> okay, right, let's just, uh, I'll just cut that into quarters. I'll wash my fingers. I think the camera can pick up that. All fingers are intact. I really should have put the cutting board, cutting block on here. Quite enjoying this actually. I might even do another one. What does everybody think? Why don't everybody make those suggestions, put the caption at the bottom and say what I should be, what they think I should be cooking. But I'm not going to do something silly like, you know, a goulash or a carbonara or a... Now what I'm probably going to do with this, I'm going to probably and I'm going to speed this up on the video but um, you know please believe me that I, I'm actually doing this do you know but I expect everybody who's watching this can remember or, or have watched some of my vlogs post stroke um, but look this isn't all about my stroke or anything this is getting me back, doing things, getting my life back to normal as possible. And I feel perhaps the cooking is something for me. I can remember actually this uh, story. I can remember at school, I was at school in Shepton back in the 70s. Oh wow, back in the day. Um, and we used to, there was home economics uh, for mainly the girls. Um, and I can remember at that time it was very rare for the boys to get involved with that home economics and the cookery lessons. Now, there was one or two boys who'd done the cookery courses, and I can actually remember some of the other kids uh, taking the mickey out of that. Taking the mickey out of the lads because they were doing cookery courses. But that was the 70s. You wouldn't be, you wouldn't do that now. I mean we're more acceptable to things like that. And I wish I'd done it back then because I wouldn't be uh, so such an animal in the kitchen, such a Kitchen Virgin. Do you know some of these TV chefs? And I don't mean TVs, I don't mean transvestites. Some of the TV chefs who are on the television. Damn. <laughs> That's one bit on the floor. Dog can have that one. Um, some of these TV chefs, they're pretty much worth their weight in gold, aren't they? Because to talk while you're doing this, for me, it's quite difficult. It's a horrible day here today. You'll probably hear the rain on top of the roof, roof of the kitchen. Um, and you can see what a messy cook I am on the table. I'll just get the biggest apple here. My wife's gone out for today, so um, she knew I was going to attempt this. I think she probably thought she'd get herself out of it because she knew what a mess I'd be making. Um, and she's probably expecting to come back into a bomb site later. Can 
I'm not managing too bad with that hand. In a minute we're going to be heating up a pan so that uh, we can cook down the, the apples and the blackberries. The oven should be up to temperature. We'll be able to put the cooked apples in the in the oven with the crumble on top. So really, there's not a lot to it. Sugar is emulsifying. Our next step will be next step is to put five, 50 grams of butter into that. Now you just got to watch. It's not too hot, but you'll see the treacle effect. In the sugar and the butter, but that will come out. So, so don't don't scoop it out. That will that will emulsify and help. Probably a little bit too hot for what we need. So just turn it down slightly. Okay. And gradually, very slowly, just add the apple into the mix. Now we're not looking, we're not looking to get a good stew out of this. We're just looking to simmer eventually. And eventually is to get the apple covered in the, the syrup from the sugar and butter mixed into it. Well, how are we doing so far? Be interesting to find out how people are getting on with it. Just put that other pan over on the table. Now you can see the consistency of the sugar is melting around the, the apple and forming a, a tight, like a toffee there. But I've been told that's not a problem. Just stir it around. What I'm going to do now is add a bit of zest, lemon zest. There is a measurement for that, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stick with that. I'll just put what I want in there and let that be. Oh, that's looking good now. I'll just hold that up to the camera so you can see. I hope you can see that.
Now at this point, I'm just going to go and get the dish what we'll be putting the crumble into in the oven. So I'm going to get that and I'm going to probably preheat the dish. Okay, I just put the uh, dish in the oven for a few minutes and I'm going to finish off I'm just going to put a few blackberries into there these are bought blackberries we were going to pick some the weekend, but I think they've just gone over where we were intending to go. So we missed some really good blackberries around. Got some literally outside our front door on the wall. But um, same old thing when you've got them, you never find time. Now these are just, just stir these until the blackberries just start to stain the apple. Now, just thinking ahead, the oven's obviously heating the dish ready for me to put this into. Um, but what we've got to start thinking about is once I've put this into the dish and the crumble on the top, put it back into the oven, and that's going to be for about 30 minutes. And I, as I said earlier, it's 180 degrees. I think it might be about gas mark 5. Can I smart five or four? I'm sure people would tell me. I think we could do with a few more blackberries in there, to be honest. Just starting to stain the apple now. So we're nearly there. And just see what the dish is doing. Try and evenly spread it out. Okay. I'll just check the camera. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm now going to spread on the, the crumble I made earlier. Try and give it a good even, I should have enough to cover it. I think we're going to do how I got on that one too bad so I think we are going to do maybe another one to show how to make the custard nice vanilla custard and uh, 
egg and vanilla custard. There, just sprinkle that about so that you cover the fruit. Quite looking forward to having this actually. Anybody who wants to try a bit, just let me know. We are going to get probably a bit of juice which will come up in the sides, but what well, if we do? Um, Okay, and that's really it. Crikey, I, I, do you know I'm amazed how simple this has been. Now what I'm going to do, still bear in mind that the dish is hot, I've still got the oven on heat, so I'm going to now put this in the oven. And 30 minutes, for 30 minutes, yes. Okay, here we are. Here's the moment of truth. Here's the moment of truth. We're going to open the oven. Oh, a bit overdone. A little bit overdone on the top. Hey, not bad for a first attempt, is it? Just cut into the topping. Oh, got a bit of steam on the lens there, but look at the side of that. That's not bad, I don't think. Can't wait to try that a little bit later. I'm going to go and make myself some custard and uh, see how we get on with that. So, there you go. You don't have to be a dinosaur in the kitchen like me. Um, I'm pretty proud of what I've done. It's, you know, it's a little bit overdone. It's tasting lovely. And um, why, not get, why don't anybody give it a go? I'll certainly have another go at something, so um, it's given me, a, inspired me to do something. Um, thanks for watching anyway. Cheers.